Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is mistaken through ignorance. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err not knowing the Scriptures, nor the power of God. Matthew chapter 22, verse 29. One major error of the sect called the Sadducees in the time of Christ, one major error they held was that there is no resurrection. The Sadducees were a highly respected group of religious leaders in Palestine during the time of Christ. They were of the party of high priests aristocratic families and merchants, the wealthy elements of the Jewish population. They were very active in Judea during the Second Temple period beginning from the 2nd century BC down to the time of the destruction of the temple in AD 70. They were supposed to be acquainted with the glorious truths of the resurrection as plainly taught in the Jewish scriptures, what we call the Old Testament. But they had allowed themselves to be deceived. They allowed Greek philosophies to become the basis of their beliefs. This was due to what is called a Hellenism, which is the study or imitation of ancient Greek culture. You know, during the time of Alexander the Great, Greek culture and language was spreading all over the then known world. And some of the Jewish people who were supposed to be the custodians of the scriptures, the oracles of God, they actually imbibed these philosophies and they did not continue to be faithful to the teachings of scriptures. The Greeks believe in what is called dualism. That is the concept that a death the spirit of man is separated from the body as a conscious entity. This is the very same present and widespread belief that the soul is different from the body and can survive the death of the body as a conscious living entity. And at death, if it's a good person, the soul can go to heaven. And if it's a bad person, the soul goes to hell. But this is not the teachings of the scriptures. Old Testament books like Job, Daniel, Hosea, etc. teach bodily resurrection, not the immortality of the soul. In fact, you cannot have both. You cannot have both the resurrection as found in scriptures and the immortality of the soul as popularly taught today. You will have one or the other. It's either when people die, they are in their graves, as Jesus said in John chapter 5, verses 28 and 29, and they wait for the voice of the Son of God to call them out of their graves, like the way he called Lazarus out of his grave in John chapter 11. Or when they die, they just float to heaven if they are good, or they descend to hell if they are evil. My point is that you cannot have both beliefs. You will have one or the other. So because of their error regarding the question of the resurrection, they started using human reasonings to buttress their claims. The Sadducees, when they came to Christ, they quoted Moses regarding the principle of kinsman redeemer. That is, if a man dies without having children, his brother could have his wife and raise children for the dead brother. So they created a scenario of a woman who, because of the death of seven brothers, married all of them. Their question to Christ was, whose wife among the seven brothers will she be when they are bodily resurrected? Christ went straight to the root of their problem. He saw that through generation of imbibing Greek philosophy, and interpreting the scriptures in the light of pagan philosophers, they had 
lost the glorious truth of the resurrection due to the fact that they could no longer see that from Genesis, the scriptures give a holistic view or picture of man. That is, even when he was made from the dust of the earth and the breath of life from God, he was one indivisible whole. He was a soul, the breath of life, and the dust of the earth gave rise to a living soul. And so when he dies, he becomes a dead soul. That's why in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 4, we read that the soul that sin it, it shall die. So the soul dies. So what we're trying to say here is that while man is alive, he is a living soul. But when the breath leaves his body, when he breathes his last, when the life-giving power from God leaves his body, his nostrils, the soul dies, and only a resurrection can give him life again. That's what the scriptures teach. So, what did Jesus say was the root of the theological error of the Sadducees? In Matthew chapter 22, verse 29, he says, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of of God. Now we get it. Apart from their ignorance of the scriptures, they doubted the power of God to bring the dead back to life from the dust. When we distance ourselves from the word of God, when our faith begins to wane or wave, because we read in the Bible, quote, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God, unquote, Romans chapter 10 verse 17. But when we stop studying the word of God and we start listening to human philosophies, then we will begin to lose faith in the word of God. Today, many professed Christians doubt that the earth was created in six literal consecutive contiguous 24-hour days as clearly recorded in Genesis chapter 1. They doubt the virgin birth they doubt the resurrection. They doubt the worldwide flood. They deny the power of God to give us victory over sin. Everything miraculous or everything that is done by the miraculous power of God in the Bible is denied today as fable. But dear child of God, do not allow lack of personal prayerful study of the Bible to create doubts in your heart. Do not just listen to preachers or, or scholars. Study the Bible for yourself so that you will not develop doubt that will jeopardize your salvation. Take the Bible as it reads. Believe the miracles of creation and redemption in its pages and the power of God will transform your life for eternity. This is the moment of power. God bless you today as you go about your business. Don't forget to meditate on the word of God. May God bless your life. In Jesus' name, amen.